thejbeans.net. The Amber Cove Cruise Center is situated on the Dominican Republic's Amber Coast, not far from the filming locations used for the 1993 film Jurassic Park. The cruise port, which caters to Carnival Corporation cruise lines like Carnival, Princess, Holland America, and P&O, has a pier that can accommodate two ships at the same time. No tender is required. Complimentary rickshaw service is provided for cruise passengers who would rather ride instead of making the roughly 10-minute walk from the ship to the cruise center. The rickshaw drivers work for tips. If you choose to walk the pier, be sure to not cross the painted red line that runs along both sides of the pier that have been painted as a safety precaution. Also try to keep a lookout for the rickshaw drivers. The bikes are quiet and they can quickly sneak up on you. After you pass through the sizable gift shop at the end of the pier and enter the open air cruise center, you'll likely see signage for passengers who are taking ship-sponsored excursions. There is an impressive range of excursion activities to choose from at Amber Cove. However, there is also plenty to do in the cruise center itself, including shopping, restaurants, a zip line, and complimentary pools and water slides. If you have not been to Amber Cove before, we recommend making two stops in the shopping area located on the left side, north side of the pier. The first stop is the octagonal shaped tourism office building located toward the end of the shopping area in the middle of the circular courtyard. Locals inside will stamp your passport and provide information about the Dominican Republic. As you make the short walk to the tourism office, you'll likely pass shops offering free jewelry charms and raffles. Check the shopping guides handed out on the ship for the coupons to redeem for the free swag. The second recommended stop for those new to the island is the iconic Amber Cove sign located along the waterfront just past the tourism office and shops. It's a great spot to get a photo taken on the island and you can also get a great photo of your ship if it's docked on the closer side of the pier. For those wishing to spend the day at the pool, water slides, and splash park, head to the right, the south, after you pass through the gift shop and enter the cruise center area. Be sure to bring your beach towel from the ship and return it to the ship at the end of the day. The pool area features a restaurant, swim-up bar, and complimentary lounge chairs and hammocks. There is a wide variety of water sports gear that can be rented and Wi-Fi is available for a nominal fee. Near the pool, two complimentary water slides are available for guests who are four feet or taller. No t-shirts, eyeglasses, or sunglasses are permitted on the slides. A complimentary splash pad with mini slides is also available near the pool for those guests who aren't quite tall enough to ride the main water slides. For fun out of the water, zip lining is available for a fee. On our last cruise, an unlimited ride pass cost $20 for adults and $10 for children. The minimum age for the zip line was 14 years old. Additionally, ping pong, basketball, volleyball, and a giant chess set are available for complimentary use near the splash pad. A variety of cabanas are available for rent nearby and offer amenities like non-alcoholic beverages, Wi-Fi, air conditioning, and all-day zipline passes. The pricing started at around $300 for a cabana for eight people on our last cruise. Finally, a great resource for learning more about the Amber Cove cruise port is the Amber Cove website, which includes a map of the cruise center area, 
a listing of taxi fares to explore the island, excursion descriptions, and a calendar showing the ships scheduled to be in port on a specific day.